strategy. Otherwise, he's broken the mo uh, model code of con conduct. We've written to the election commission. BJP ups the ante. While TMC went all out on Modi and company, the Saffron Party too attacked the West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta and her party men. An array of leaders led by Deputy Leader of Opposition in Rajya Sabha, Ravi Shankar Prasad, said that the TMC is intimidated by Modi's popularity and thus are resorting to personal attacks. It is demeaning, I condemn it. Trinamool Congress has got completely rattled because of the enormous support the Modi G and BJP is getting in Bengal. But I could only say, please avoid making these kinds of comments. Criticism must be there. I don't approve it. I condemn it. Trinamool Congress did not expect to have their fortress shaken up. Today, Trinamool Congress is so rattled by the impact Sri Narendra Modi's rallies have created. They are speaking things which are out of a common sense and here is a party whose website whose ministers whose uh, spokesperson used the language which is going to make entire west bengal put their head down and shame senior bjp leader arun jaitley to hit out at the tmc by saying that mamta banerji led side is unable to face criticism congress makes hay when the sun shines of course, the Congress doesn't want to lose out on the opportunity to make the best out of the TMC-BJP feud. Many Congress leaders back the TMC's move to rake up the Godra rights issue, which has often been the age-old party's trump card against the BJP's prime ministerial candidate. Look, स्पॉन्सर्ड दंगा था सरकार का क्या रोल उसमें था किसी से छुपा हुआ नहीं अब उसको अलग-अलग शब्दों में अलग-अलग पार्टी कह रही है नरेंद्र मोदी जी को पहले ये लग रहा था कि ममता बनर्जी शायद उनके साथ आ जाएं तब वो ये सारी ज़बान नहीं बोल रहे थे अब उन्हें ऐसा लग रहा है कि वो मुझे सपोर्ट नहीं करेंगी तो अब जाके वो उनके खिलाफ बोल रहे हैं ये एक ऐसा ट्रेंड है कि जो बजाय विचारों पर राजनीति करने के सिर्फ सत्ता की राजनीति हो रही है वोट की राजनीति हो रही है यह दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है while the congress took advantage of tmc's charge cpi2 made use of the verbal spat between the two parties to lash out on both d raja while accusing the tmc of using the godra rights issue to woo muslim votes in west bengal also charged against modi what happened in gujarat in 2002 was a massacre was genocide of uh, Muslim minority and so far Mr. Modi has not expressed any regret or apology for what happened in Gujarat. Bengal is one state which has the largest number of uh, uh, Muslims, uh, quite uh, good uh, percentage of uh, Muslims live in Bengal. So uh, TMC is uh, worried about uh, losing Muslim votes, so see, uh, TMC speaks in hyperbolic language. On the whole, Narendra Modi's job in Mamta's backyard has come back to haunt him. With the TMC now seeking an apology, it remains to be seen how the BJP's prime ministerial candidate will counter that. Will Modi hit back or leave the issue to die down? A News 9 report. Well, anti-Dalit organizations have made sure that Baba Ramdev doesn't forget his controversial remarks easily. Despite an apology, everyone has taken to the streets to protest his controversial remark. And Baba Ramdev, on the other hand, has refused to lie low, making strong statements even today. Here's a report. Ajeebo-gareeb chunav. Chunav is and we couldn't agree more with the Congress leader. But now every leader who has spoken dirty and ugly might have to eat up their own words like BJP's so-called saint Baba Ramdev. Despite an apology over Rahul Gandhi's honeymoon and picnics, for Baba Ramdev this controversial remark will prove to be more expensive than he had ever thought. After Lucknow, Amethi bans Baba Ramdev. Yes, the election commission has taken a serious note of the controversial Baba. After banning his rallies in Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh, 
the election commission has cancelled his Himachal Pradesh campaign for the BJP. The second blow comes in the form of a Methi administration banning his programs scheduled on May 1st and 2nd along with a possible arrest. But looks like Baba Ramdev cares a damn. Despite the election commission cancelling his rallies in Himachal Pradesh, Ramdev has defied its orders. Yes, Baba Ramdev was seen addressing the people of Himachal Pradesh and taking pot shots at Robert Vadra this time around. He also didn't spare Sonia Gandhi, accusing her of insulting Dalits. Oops, looks like Baba is suffering from temporary amnesia. Probably one undergoes such a phase during a panic attack. Well, Baba Ramdev must be trying to distract one and all by deviating the topic, but insulting Dalits has caused a major uproar across the country. Karnataka Bengaluru Hundreds of Congress Dalit protesters gathered in front of their office on Queen's Road and sloganeered against the controversial Baba. They not just demanded his arrest, but also demanded an apology for humiliating their community. Immediately you should be found a case against him and also you should arrest immediately wherever he is going. If first he should, he should stop all his uh, yoga and other things and he should be arrested immediately. Bijapur. Well, in this region, the Dalits believe in giving Ramdev a good taste of footwear for insulting them. If that's not enough, these infuriated DSS protesters even dragged his poster by the road. This is the heights of anger. They feel Baba Ramdev shouldn't have belittled them in such a manner. <laughs> Davangere. In Davangere, they laid an effigy of Ramdev to rest. But mind you, there is no remorse on their faces as the man who they had cremated had insulted them in front of the nation. Maybe a symbolic cremation, but one could clearly see the seething anger on each of their faces with several questions. Mysore The Dalit organizations in the city of Mysore organized a massive rally to vent their anger at Baba Ramdev. They beat him up with chapels, then garlanded his poster, went on a rally and eventually tore down his poster. Throughout the rally, the protesters were seen sloganeering to highlight Baba Ramdev's derogatory and hideous remark. Even the incumbent MP H. Vishwanath was seen in their midst as they raised their voices against Baba Ramdev. Vishwanath, who is a contestant in the Lok Sabha elections 2014, demanded the arrest of the controversial Swamiji for humiliating the Dalits. Baba Ramdev is an untouchable attack. Untouchable, yeah, he should be arrested and he must keep behind bars immediately. That is Adinanan Agrahamatta. Tumkur. While in Davangiri they organized a silent cremation, in Tumkur they burned down Baba Ramdev's effigy. But before touching the effigy of the controversial Baba, the protesters gave him chappal seve, followed on by a chappal garland. Along with venting out their anger against the Dalits, this group under the leadership of Congress Party workers demanded an apology on behalf of Rahul Gandhi. Ram Devarola, Adesto, Vondo, Mainna, Crash Marbuti, Yeno Vantara, Nane, Euro. Nane Vantara Yoga put to the Luru on the Tilkondore, our kind of Dododor over a part of the Le, our Reno Nane, Sarva, Sarva, Adikari and the Tilkondore, our second Moditara, 
ಬಿಹೇವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾವ್ರೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಜನಾನೇ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಕಲಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಯಿಂದ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇವತ್ತು ರಾಮ್ ರಾಮದೇವ್ ಪ್ರತಿಕೃತಿನ ದಾನೆ ದಹಿಸಿ ದಹಿಸಿದ್ದೀವಿ ರಾಮದೇವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏನೈತೆ ಗಡೀಪಾರು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಉಗ್ರವಾದಂಥ ಶಿಕ್ಷೆ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಭಾರತದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಸಂವಿಧಾನವಾದಂಥ ಕಾನೂನು ಇದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಳಪಡಿಸಬೇಕು ರಾಮದೇವ್ರಿಗೆ Well, Baba might be crestfallen and trying to save his image, but one knows that Baba Ramdev's derogatory remarks against the Dalits could spoil BJP's chances of wooing this community. Though Ramdev has offered his apologies, it has failed to cut much ice with the community. More so, Baba Ramdev has continued to hit back at the opposition while defying the election commission. One wonders where will it take the Baba this time around. A News Now report. And this election season, we've seen political leaders indulging in hate speeches and making strong statements, but nothing quite like what we're witnessing in Telangana. Both Chandra Babu Naidu and Pavan Kalyan descended in Telangana and have been on a war of words of sort with KCR. Here's a report on the fierce one-upmanship battle in the region. Telangana is just hours away from a crucial ballot battle where everything is at stake. And that is the reason why some high-profile campaigners in Andhra Pradesh are turning increasingly uncouth in their behavior and brash in their language. Power star and founder of Janasena, Pawan Kalyan set off this new round of foul-mouthed fury just a few days before polling in Telangana. The temperamental actor caused flutters the other day when he threatened to peel off TRS chief KCR skin if he continued to talk bad about Narendra Modi. మీరు ఎవరిని తిట్టినా నేను ఊరుకుంటాను నేను పడతాను నన్ను తిట్టినా నేను పడతాను కానీ దేశానికి కాబోతున్న మొట్టమొదటి బీసీ ప్రధానమంత్రిని మీరు ద్రోహం కావాలి తీస్తాను కేసీఆర్ గారు గుర్తుపెట్టుకోండి నిజంగా నేను ఎదురు తిరగాలంటే చంద్రశేఖర్ రావు గారు కానీ వాళ్ళ కుటుంబ సభ్యులు కానీ నన్ను ఆపలేరు ధైర్యం తప్ప తిరిగితనం అనేది ఏ కోసం లేదు కేసీఆర్ తెలుసుకో కానీ కేసీఆర్ గారికి పొద్దుగాలు లేచినప్పటి నుంచి అందరినీ పెద్దమ్మ పనికిరానుడు పనికి మాలను బూట్లు తిట్టడం ఆయనకు వచ్చే కిట్టే వేరప్ప ద స్టార్స్ ఫిల్మ్ స్టైల్ ధమ్కీ ఇన్ పాలిటిక్స్ రిసీవ్డ్ ఇట్స్ క్విక్ రిటార్ట్ కేసీఆర్ అ రాబల్ రౌజర్ ఆఫన్ ఇన్ఫేమస్ ఫర్ హిస్ ఫిల్ ది చాయిస్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ వాంట్ పవన్ కళ్యాణ్ ఇన్ హిస్ జోన్ ఇన్ ఇమిటబుల్ స్టైల్ ఆన్ సండే looking to flaunt his might in the telangana backyard he said that he can get the actor cut into 1000 pieces in just a chutki the kcr brand of provocation had his opponents hitting right back at him and guess who taunted the trs chief this time well it was the tdp chief chandra babu naidu and not pavan kalyan addressing a tdp election rally in kcr's bastion of gajwel of medak district today Naidu was unusually harsh in a torrent of criticism against KCR. His words had enough nip to make some exasperated TRS men try and disrupt his speech. Everything this far seems pardonable until the TDP chief went really overboard with his startling comment. Naidu was keen to show to the electorate that he is very much in the reckoning in the region. In an insinuation aimed at the TRS, Naidu said that he is a tough nut to crack and in the same breath He told the gathering that everyone who took him head on went without a trace and the late YSR Rajashekhar Reddy was one of them. Naidu left nothing really for imagination with his open reference to the tragic and untimely death of the former Congress chief minister. The bitterness in Naidu's words may have evoked rapturous applause from the TDP cadres instantly. But the more revered lot in the political circles found the remarks leaving a foul taste in the mouth. For them the venom in the criticism was unwarranted especially coming from a former two time chief minister and a wannabe king maker at the center Durga Prasad for news 9